volume for your radio and phone calls. This here is going to go through your presets on your radio. Mode goes through the sources. So if you're on AM and then you push this, it's going to go to FM. And it'll go through all of your available sources as you push it. This is the voice command, so you can push it. Make sure you wait for the beep, and then you'll say call so-and-so. Um, and you can make phone calls that way or tell it to turn it to a certain radio station. Um, this is going to answer and hang up the phone. On this side, it's going to control the screen up here. So um, I can go left and right through these tabs at the top. These are the tabs. And then I can go up and down. So this is miles per hour, distance to empty. I'm going to go down. And it's going to take me to average fuel economy, current fuel economy. And then it says hold to reset. You just push and hold this middle button to reset it. And then if I go down again, it's going to show you trip distance, trip elapsed time. And then this one is time until rest. So if you have your sway warning on and you're swaying too much, a little coffee cup is going to come up and say maybe it's time for a rest. I'm going to go down. We're at the beginning right now again. If I go to the right here, it's going to be your compass, northeast, southwest. I go to the right again. This is your music, your audio, radio. You push the middle button, then you can change your sources here. Um, once you do that, you can also go through your presets here. Now to go back, you're just going to push this back button right here and then back and now we're at the main screen again. Now if I go to the right again, this is for your lane departure, which is right here. When this is turned on, you'll see the little icon up here. If you're going 32 miles per hour or faster, the car can attack the right lane, the left lane, or both lanes. Um, and you get close to that lane, it's going to beep at you and pull the steering wheel. It's a very slight pull. Um, we do recommend using the blinkers when you're changing lanes so that you're not fighting with that. Um, on this screen, it will show you which lane it can detect and which lane it can hit. So if it can only detect that right lane, it's going to light up that right lane white. And then if you get close to it, it's going to flash either a blue or an orange to show you that you're going to hit that lane. If I go to the right again, it's going to be messages like check engine light, oil change, when your vehicle needs gas, things that your vehicle needs. Now to the right again, this is going to be your settings. So you have ECT power, which is electronically controlled transmission power. So if you feel like your vehicle needs more power, you just push it and it turns it on. You can turn it off as well with this middle button. This is your BSM, your blind side monitor. So it lights up when somebody's in your blind spot. Down here is RCTA, it's rear cross traffic alert. So when that's on and you're in reverse and a car is coming or a person, you'll hear beep, 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 beep. That means stop because somebody is coming. So just make sure that you look before you go into reverse. Uh, PCS is pre-collision system. If I open those settings with this middle button again, uh, pre-collision system is on. You can turn it on and off here. The sensitivity is here. I recommend the highest sensitivity. Um, if your foot's on the gas or not on the brake, the car in front of you is stopping. Your vehicle doesn't think you're going to stop in time. It's going to beep and flash up here. Brake, 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 and red. And the beeping is pretty fast and loud. I'm going to go back again with that back button. And if we go down here, you have your lane departure alert and assist. So the assist is on. That's the pull on the steering wheel that happens when you get too close to the lane. Sensitivity, I do recommend standard because it does beep a lot. Sway warning is that coffee cup that comes up if you're swaying too much. And I recommend the standard sensitivity as well. I'm going to go back again. And then these are just regular settings like language, units, drive information. So now I'm going to go to the right again and we're back at the beginning. If you're halfway through these tabs and you don't want to press the left arrow, three times to get back to the eye, you can just push this one here, and that's like a home button. It takes you back to the beginning. So down here, you have the lane departure, and then you also have the cruise dynamic radar cruise control here. So <clears throat> you turn the cruise control on right here, you get up to the speed you like, and then you're gonna set it by pushing it down. You can also increase speed or decrease speed and then cancel here. So when you turn it on and set the speed, you're going to push this button here and then you're going to see those little lines in front of the car up here. And that's going to space you from the car in front of you, only on cruise control.